Hey there, welcome back. I'm Jay, and today we're going to talk about another part of the Microsoft Azure uh, ecosystem where you can build almost anything you want for your application or services in the cloud. So let's talk about it quickly. The Azure Resource Manager. Now, uh, what is it? It is a service that allows you to do deployment and management for Azure. Uh, it gives you a consistent management layer, lets you use either our control panel here, uh, PowerShell, uh, so portal, PowerShell, using the REST Azure CLI. Uh, the other thing that's really cool is that you can power a lot of this stuff right through our cloud shell. So let me do a quick introduction to some of the things that we can do. Um, so there are uh, a lot of great pieces of documentation that exist for the Azure uh, resource manager. One of them is this link, which I will have in the notes. This will give you all the information. This, uh, one of the things that's great is it gives you a kind of visual uh, explanation of how we send information of what we want to build to ARM. Uh, then uh, we get it to the API, we give the information that we want, and then we get the output of the actual uh, items that we need or resources. Uh, so we keep everything in a resource group. We have resource providers. Uh, that's like the uh, compute service or say uh, something like app service. Uh, we've got templates. So that's something that we're going to go over next. And then we've got a declarative syntax. So we can basically say, here's what I want to create. I want this, put it into a syntax uh, or put the syntax into a script, have that script read. Um, we use templates, so we'll show you those templates in a second. Um, and the benefits, uh, you can manage, uh, deploy, monitor all your resources uh, for your group um, together. So what I'm going to show you is a resource group that I have created. So let's get started. Right here, J.A. Gord. And we're going to show you all the resources associated with this. So all of these resources right in here can be created one at a time using uh, the Azure Resource Manager. So we can send an API call uh, through an HTTP uh, command uh, with something like curl or maybe another program that we want to use, like say for sending it via chef, uh, via programmatically and some sort of codified uh, configuration management. Uh, the other way we can do it, and this is what I think is so cool, uh, we have over here automation script. So to get to it, what we're going to do is look up how to find the automation information for our resource group. And if you actually go here, you can take a look. We have all the info of all the different resources that we have created, everything that they have installed, the versions. And if we wanted to actually deploy this, what I could do is go here and use the parameters uh, and do it either via CLI, PowerShell, uh, .NET, Ruby. And I think what's really great about this is that you, you can do all this in Cloud Shell. So you could take this script and uh, make sure that you have all the resource uh, information filled out, uh, all the uh, correct uh, environment variables. Uh, so what's really cool is that you can download the template and let's go to the exported template. Okay. And what you'll see is a number of scripts and helpers. So here's the JSON that we actually get. So I'm going to open it up with code. Now, like I said, this is for our entire resource group with all those pieces I had in there. So you'll see I've got SSH keys in here. I have uh, network parameters in here for my VNet, uh, provisioning information. It's everything. And if I wanted to reprovision it all, I could take, uh, let's go back to the command lines. Uh, we could take this deploy.sh script uh, and run it from bash. And if I wanted to, I could just take all this, send it to uh, the uh, cloud shell because Cloud Shell has an upload mechanism right here. So I could take upload, um, go down to my downloads. I believe it was exported template. So we'll go to export a template and then I could just open that, send the zip file right there. So I'm gonna show you one of the individual pieces from this. So let's go back to the portal 
And so what's great is let's say I just wanted to create one particular part from that resource group. I didn't want to just rebuild the entire thing. Let's just say that I have a virtual machine here and I wanted to recreate just this virtual machine. Well, the cool part about it is what we can do is go to automation script right here. And we have actually the same kind of situation here. We've got a script that we can use to actually just recreate this one individual piece. So let's go ahead and download this. Cool. All right. We'll show in the finder. And just so we remember which one it is, we will call it uh, the machine. VM is fine. Cool. So let's take VM zip and let's go back to our cloud shell and we will upload it upload and we can just take this vm open great so let's find it and what we'll do is we'll unzip this exported template ja gourd Great, so now we actually have the template, we have the uh, all the stuff in here, and if I wanted to, I can look at the uh, deploy.sh. And we'll see all the things. So all I actually have to do right here is declare my subscription ID, my resource group name, my deployment group name, and the, the location, the the resource uh, region it'll live in and it'll go ahead and create all these things for me so if i want to just recreate the type of vm but i wanted to put it into maybe a different subscription or maybe just a different resource group i could do it right through here then just save it and deploy bash deploy.sh so it'll actually allow me to manually enter in this information as well so if i didn't want to statically enter in those. I can just do it dynamically when I'm running the script. So I can add my subscription ID, add all the other information, and what it'll do is go through the process of actually running our VM. Uh, it'll build it in the resource group that I state, and uh, we can then go into, if we wanted to, back into our portal, and if we wanted to uh, make any modifications or do anything, it'll uh, be stored in, that state will be stored in the uh, actual automation script so all that'll be in the arm template so if we change the size of our vm or we modify what's connected all that stuff will be reflected in our sort our arm template so that we'll be able to take that script and build it again quickly with all those specific uh maybe changes we might have made so that's really it it's really simple to use arm templates and arm it itself to help you build quickly using a resource manager for azure so if you have any other questions uh you know how to find me J Destro on Twitter, or you can leave me a question below. Uh, a bunch of resources I'm going to leave you with. One, we have the understanding the st uh, structure and syntax of an ARM template. Um, as you can see, it's in standard JSON. Uh, we have some basic parameters that you just need to make sure that are set as the value for the keys. So that could be uh, anything from the uh, it, the size of a VM, the region you want it to be, all that specific information can be put in there. Uh, we've got parameters of an Azure Resource Manager. We'll have all this in here for you as well. And then the thing that's really great is that we have quick start templates. So if you want to use a template to do something quickly and learn from it, like uh, deploy a simple Ubuntu Linux VM or join a VM to an existing domain, very easy stuff that you can get started with. It's all point and click. So the next video I'm going to make will actually show you how to do this and deploy it to Azure. Uh, so next time, we'll see you then. Um, if you have any other questions, you know how to find me. Like I said, jdestro on Twitter, or just go ahead and leave a message below in the uh, comments. Thank you very much.